The war on drugs is turning into the war on fentanyl. Researchers at the University of Houston believe they have the biggest weapon ever to fight against it in the form of a vaccine. A game changer. Dr. Colin Hale hopes that's what he and his team at the University of Houston have developed as they gear up to take on the crisis of the synthetic opioid fentanyl. The treatments that we have right now are clearly not working and we need a different strategy uh, to address this and we think this uh, anti-fentanyl vaccine will do that. There's a frantic need for a new tool to save lives. More than 71,000 people died from fentanyl overdoses in 2021. The staggering number continues to climb. The fentanyl is the most dangerous drug to ever hit the streets of the United States in history. While the Drug Enforcement Administration says fentanyl has become the drug of choice on the streets, it only takes one pill, many times unknowingly laced with fentanyl, to take a life. This heartbroken like mom hard knows how devastating that can be. Her 14-year-old son died at their home in Cyprus after buying fake oxycodone. I just, oh my God, I miss his hugs. I miss touching his face. Pain that could be averted if at-risk teens got a preventative measure like this vaccine. Dr. Hale says it's proving to be effective in animal studies using tried and true ingredients. One part of our vaccine is already in two vaccines on the market already and have been proven safe and effective. Another part of our vaccine has already been in humans, been in multiple clinical trials and has also been shown to be safe and effective. The vaccine has been created to cut off fentanyl's pleasure pathway to the brain, eliminating the drug's high. Unlike other vaccines that use, that induce the body to produce antibodies against pathogens such as viruses or bacteria, our vaccine produces antibodies against the chemical, and that chemical is fentanyl. So in a vaccinated individual, if they consume fentanyl, those antibodies will bind to the drug and prevent it from getting into the brain. Some patients actively become addicted to opioids when taking them for pain. So the idea is to get the vaccine to help them detox. And then in addition to their maintenance therapy, such as buprenorphine, methadone, or naltrexone, they will also get the vaccine. Unfortunately, in this population, they relapse at very high rates, 80 to 90 percent. But Dr. Hale hopes the anti-fentanyl vaccine will shatter those numbers. The most vocal about this serious problem are mothers who've lost children. Now many parents are reaching out to Dr. Hale for their at-risk children, hoping to sign them up for human clinical trials. Parents that are absolutely terrified that their, their children are going to inadvertently be exposed to fentanyl because we found fentanyl in cocaine, methamphetamine, in counterfeit anti-anxiety medications, ADHD medications as well. He also hopes it would help protect first responders who deal with the dangers every day. And Dr. Hale also hopes the FDA will quickly approve the anti-fentanyl vaccine. Still requires years of clinical trial, yeah. though. He's thinking it could possibly be on the market within three years. They do expect very few side effects from mm -hmm. this. Again, the, the ingredients are on the market already, and people do very well with them. And how young could you be to take it? As you, they, they would probably start thinking about as young as maybe preteen. Mm -hmm. So these kids who are sort of dabbling a little bit, trying to find drugs on the Internet, they think yeah. it's an anti-anxiety and the next thing you know, it's accidentally laced with fentanyl. Wow, what a breakthrough, though, yeah. and such a better solution than Narcan, perhaps, sure. if there is some sort of an, an, an overdose. And the fact that it's being done right here mm -hmm. in the Houston area. We're going to keep you up to date with this one and follow its advancements.